what is going on, guys. So we did a video looking at how pulse width modulation can regulate the level of power to devices, but pulse width modulation can also be used to transmit information. And this particular uh, signal actually has two characteristics. One is going to be its frequency, and the other is going to be the uh, amount of on time, right, of the duty cycle. So right here is just a 1 hertz, 10% duty cycle signal. And so we could encode information using the frequency or the duty cycle, or both. So I'll give you an example here. Let's increase the, let's do an example where we're going to encode information with just the frequency. So we're going to keep our duty cycle basically as like a 10% pulse. And let's go ahead and increase our frequency here. Now we're at 10 hertz, same duty cycle. Let's go ahead and um, change the divisions here so it's easier to see. We'll go down to 100 milliseconds to division. And what you're going to notice is I actually made a math channel here, which is the frequency of this, and it's actually being displayed right here. This is actually showing 10 right here. So let's increase the frequency, and we should see that math channel change, right? 20, take it up to like 30. You see how that changes? So we're able to encode information with the frequency, right? Now, we could also use the duty cycle instead. So let's take our... Frequency, say, back down to about 10, about 10% 10 here. Okay, that's our fre frequency, 10 hertz frequency. And now let's vary the, uh, the duty cycle. There's 20%. 30%. So... We could also use the duty cycle to encode information just at a given frequency at this 10 hertz. Now, normally, for example, if you're looking at like the current coming off a battery, that's going to be a frequency uh, signal. But you could encode two things, right? Like the pulse width and the RPM from an uh, injector signal, injector pulse width signal. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a good one.